So in this unit, we actually take a bit of a thrill back to some grade 9 math concepts. Uh, in grade 9, you study probability. Uh, those would deal with simple events such as uh, what's the probability of tossing a head when you, when you toss a coin, which would be 50% because you've got either heads or tails. We are going to take that and deal with multiple events now, so just to add a little bit of complexity to it. And we're also going to deal with something called odds. Now, many people use the term probability and odds interchangeably, but they are not exactly the same thing. There is one key difference that we'll get into with the first example. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we have two types of probability we can deal with. We have experimental probability, which is the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the total in an actual sequence of experiments. So this would be something like flipping a coin 100 times and getting heads 52 of them, the probability of getting heads in that case would be 52 out of 100. Theoretical probability is a probability that a certain outcome will occur as determined but through reasoning or calculation. So in this case, you wouldn't actually toss the coin 100 times. You would say, well, there's two outcomes, so 50-50 that it would happen to be a heads. Odds, slightly different. Uh, where probability talks about the total number of trials, odds are the likelihood of a thing occurring, occurring rather than not occurring. So odds would be 50-50 for tossing a coin. Probability for tossing a coin would be 50 out of 100. So that is the key difference. Probability, we talk about the total number of outcomes, and odds, we talk about the favorable versus the unfavorable. So to apply this, let's suppose at the beginning of a CFL season, Saskatchewan Rough Raiders is given a 25% chance of winning the Grey Cup. So a lot of things we need to look at here. In A, what is the event? We have to be specific here. This is the Riders winning the Grey Cup. Winning the Grey Cup is not good enough. The Riders is not an event. It has to be specifically what happens with the Riders winning the Grey Cup. Question B, the probability that this event will occur as a fraction out of 100. Well, we've been given this as a percent, and percents are always 1 out of 100. So the probability of the riders winning would be 25 out of 100. Meaning, if 100 seasons were played, in 25 of them, the riders would win the Grey Cup. C. The complement of the event, the complement is everything else. And your gut might tell you that the complement would, complement would be the riders losing the Grey Cup, and that is one piece of the complement. Everything else that could occur in a CFL season, besides the riders winning the Grey Cup, is any other team. winning the Grey Cup. And this is a picky thing here, because if we say the Riders losing the Grey Cup, that would mean that they actually made the Grey Cup game. They don't have to make the Grey Cup in any given season. So we need to be specific as possible here. D, the probability of the complement. Well, if 25 out of 100 times they will win the Grey Cup, then 75 out of 100 times they won't. Just going to flip the page to do E and F. E is the odds in favor of the riders winning. So in odds, as I said before, we don't deal with the 100 total events. We deal with the favorable and unfavorable. So favorable would be the riders winning, which would be 25. Unfavorable, we have 75 times where they don't. So odds 
are not written as a fraction, they are written as a ratio, 25 to 75. Question F is the odds against the Riders winning the Grey Cup. This would be the complement. So how many times do they not win the Grey Cup? That would be 75 to 25 times that they do. Now, probability and odds are both most commonly reduced. Uh, probability is often expressed as a percentage, so you can just divide it out. Odds are still written as a ratio, so looking at E and F, uh, we can go and we can actually divide each of those 25 and 75 by 25, so we would get 1 to 3 in E, and 3 to 1 in F. Now anybody who follows sports and takes a look at the beginning of the season of the favorites to win whatever sports championship it is, the people will often talk about the odds, that they're 3-1 to one favorites. Uh, that would be what they're talking about here. And that there's a 3-1 to one chance that they will win or lose. Uh, obviously, the bigger the number, 5-1, to 7-1, to 10-1, to one, uh, the less chance there is of a team winning. Uh, but if you look at it and somebody predicts that it's a 2-1 to one chance of whatever team winning, that's a pretty good chance. That's about the best you're going to get. So that is the difference between odds and probability. Probability talks about total outcomes. Odds talks about favorable versus unfavorable.